Earlier, we talked about the process of stepwise miniaturization in the context of hair follicles affected by androgenetic alopecia. In the article, quote, male androgenetic alopecia, unquote, Layla Asfour, William Cranwell, and Rodney Sinclair describe stepwise miniaturization as the gradual shrinking of hair follicles over multiple growth cycles. This results in progressively finer, shorter, and less pigmented hairs due to the effects of dihydrotestosterone, DHT, ultimately leading to visible thinning or balding. However, I'm going to coin a new term, stepwise follicular augmentation. Stepwise follicular augmentation is the reverse of stepwise miniaturization. Essentially, if the environment around a DHT-sensitive hair follicle is sufficiently deprived of DHT and the follicle isn't too damaged from previous exposure, it may, given enough time and subsequent growth cycles, return to an antigen length similar to or the same as it was before the onset of androgenetic alopecia. So remember that the normal range of antigen hair growth is between three to seven years, depending on factors like gender and race. Also remember that as DHT suppresses the hair follicles, this antigen is shortened. So in a way, the hair follicle has to revert by going in the opposite direction. It will spend each cycle in an antigen phase that may be slightly longer than the last, and a telogen resting phase that may be slightly shorter than the last. The long-term studies on finasteride by Kaufman and colleagues, and Rossi and colleagues in their respective studies provide valuable insights into finasteride, but in general, DHT suppression in the scalp and its effectiveness over time in treating androgenetic alopecia. Kaufman's five-year study demonstrated synchronized growth, while Rossi's decade-long study further detailed how finasteride's benefits evolve. Initially, gains were evident at the one-year mark, but the most significant improvements occurred after five years, with this period showing the highest increase in hair count. After 10 years, the treatment remained effective, though some participants experienced a slight decline from the five-year peak, indicating a plateau or modest decrease. Nonetheless, finasteride sustained hair growth throughout the decade, reinforcing its long-term benefits. Rossi and colleagues describe this process that I'm terming stepwise follicular augmentation, stating, quote, Presumably under the influence of finasteride, whose blood concentration is not going to be reduced over time, previously miniaturized scalp hairs continued to become longer, thicker, and more cosmetically significant during 10 years of treatment because it is still working as a selective type 2 5A reductase inhibitor. Since miniaturization of scalp hairs and androgenetic alopecia develops over a period of many years, it is not surprising that reversal of this process may also take a number of years, unquote. 